YouTube visitors and welcome to uh, making survival candles with Baby Bell cheese. And with me today is Kiana. We were camping last fall on a canoe trip, overnight canoe trip, and we were spending the night on an island. And one night, uh, Kiana, without telling anybody, she just discovered that Baby Bell cheese, which we had had along with us on the camp trip, trip. Uh, there's no sense in throwing it out. Instead, you can do something really cool with it. You can turn it into an amazing candle. So it's a good reason to have cheese like this in your backpack or on your camping trip or on your survival outing along with you because you can do so many cool things with it. So we've got a bunch of things today that we're going to play with. We've got the baby bells. We've got some leftover baby bell shells from previous meals <laughs> and I think what did you find last time that cotton cotton wick worked the best so we we went and raided some towels and some cotton clothing and some dish towels and we found little bits of cotton thread and we've twisted them into a little wick for the candles and right here is a stinging nettle uh, piece of cordage that we we took some stinging nettle bark which I happen to have some right here and we take it from that form and turn it into a nicely wrapped up little wick of stinging nettle outer bark fibers. And then this one here is probably fireweed, I'm thinking. Another beautiful little fireweed uh, outer bark twisted into a little wick. And then another little piece of cotton thread. Uh, two to three of these um, shells, so two of the halves, make a fair sized candle. So just kind of push them in together and then roll it out. Two or three makes a good one good candle. So we've got enough to make a few candles if we, if we want to. We could try and make make them with different wicks and that sort of thing. And then I've got a chunk of bark here too. I'm gonna to make it into a little carve it into a little flat thing too. Nana's got a really great idea for a candle to sit on. I'm going to see if I can carve this up a little bit. Which one was this? That's stinging now, I think. Okay. You can try a bit with this one. Yeah. We'll make a few if we can. Maybe. Yeah, it's right on. So you, oh, okay, I see how you do that. And then you just roll it up. Nice. So Kiana, she got the idea and she just went about her business making them. She didn't tell anyone what she was doing really and just worked away at it and she experimented with a few different wicks and then all of a sudden she she uh, produced this little candle. So pretty cool. We're going to see what we can get for wicks to work the best. wax is soft enough but still they're hard but still soft enough to mold into the shapes which is kind of cool okay are you going to put it on a base or you, you can use that one if you like or you can make more a base just is so the wax doesn't drip everywhere or on you it's easier to move around if you need it. I think I'll try this wick. It's a very small wick, but it's uh, it might, you do. might actually twist it quickly yeah. together into a thicker wick. So this is spireweed wick, and I'm just using a, a reverse wrap method, method to really quickly weave it into a more robust wick. So can't, Nana's candle is coming. And then Anna also devised a way to put a, a bit of a lantern cover over top of it, which is kind of cool too. So 
We found a, an old birch bark skeleton with the center rotted out. And then we would, this would make about two or three depending on how high. And then you would put it on and these little holes would make it kind of nice. Yeah. But, I mean, it's not a necessity, it's just a... And being that it's birch bark and it's flammable, <laughs> it does have the potential to start a heck of a good fire. <laughs> if you need it to. If you need it to, yeah. So the nice thing about candles in your camping kit or your survival kit or your outdoors kit is that if you were caught in a rainstorm, it's not only just because it's a candle for giving light, but a candle will help you to dry out your firewood so that you can start fires in the rain. So this is like a really long lasting match. So if you were having trouble lighting a fire, then you would be able to utilize something like this to extend your ability to, to keep a flame going while you're trying to light a fire. And it's working. I mean, we're in a bit of a gusty wind right now. <laughs> That's what we're fighting against. And, uh, but it is working. You can see the flame is dancing around in the wind. So that's stinging nettle wick. There we go, look at that. That's it. Slide it in there. Oh, there, now it's burning well. <laughs> nice, stinging nettle and baby bell survival candle. <laughs> All right, let's bring them right up to the front here. Let's I don't think they're all going to home. Might be able to see them all. Go to the town for lunch, or we can just... All right, so just a close look here. Our candles are burning away nicely. And actually, the fireweed one is on the left. It's doing really well. The stinging nettle in the center, all the wicks have spread and opened apart, so the flame is a little bit wonky and wide. And then the uh, the cotton one and on the right, far right, and the uh, fireweed on the far left. They're looking good. They're burning nicely inside their little lantern, and the wind's still getting in there. But cool, baby bell survival candle, 101. Thumbs up. <laughs>